Okay, Thomas. Okay, thank you. I'd like to call to order the work session of the Trinidad Tourism Board at 9.05 a.m. Somebody, would you have a word Sure. Campbell? He's out. Chris? Yes. Latrell? Yes. Miller? Yes, ma'am. And Michaels. Yes. Miscellaneous items for discussion. Trolley used for our walk. Miss Paul Little. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to come to speak with you. My name is Paula Little, and I'm working with Christy Rogers. Just a little background. Um, right before the 1st of June art walk, I called around to see who was organizing the first Friday art walk. Nobody was doing it, so I thought, oh my gosh, we have to have an art walk since we're uh, an art destination. So I got in touch with Christy, and together we, we worked really hard, and we had a really successful first art walk. So um, this art walk takes place on Main and Commercial Street uh, the first Friday of each month from 5 to 8 p.m., and we've um, procured entertainment. So this next one, we're going to have um, two bands, uh, a live comedy act for three hours, live streaming, and um, a circus act, a fire breather who walks on glass and eats light bulbs. Um, wow. And I checked with the fire department to make sure because when you hear fire breather, you think, oh, it's going to happen. But they said, it's fine. So he's a professional. So I'm here to ask the tourism board um, to approve the use of the trolley for dropping folks off at participating galleries and businesses. Right now we have seven, approximately seven galleries and seven businesses who are participating. We're asking... Um, Is that 14 total or some of the businesses' galleries? It's total. Seven galleries, seven businesses. And we figure there will be about nine trolley stops at three minutes per stop. What we, um, the trolley would not stay and wait for people at each location. It would just drop off, go to the next location, drop off like that. Um, and it would be followed by a second vehicle so that the people don't get stuck. You know, we don't want people stranded out at the end of Main Street. So, um, that second vehicle would pick up the people and take to the next location. Um, at this time, hotels are not included. It's just Main Street and commercial. So that's pretty much all we can handle right now with the organization. Um, since the goal of the event is to get more folks to a targeted art business monthly fun event, we feel the trolley would help get people around to more galleries and businesses especially for older folks, while adding a special incentive for locals and tourists to come to town. We want the Trinidad First Friday Art Walk to be the best in Colorado, and we're very committed to making it succeed. Um, the trolley would be just another bullet point for economic recovery and help fulfill the art destination mandate that Trinidad has been working on for years. So, um, you know, this would entail the Creative District. Right now, um, we have the Creative District is going to participate, Fumio. We have I Love Sugar, Dave Frank, um, Fumio, uh, let's see, Mitchell, um, let's see, what's happening, Mitchell? We have some businesses up there, Carol Bolton's business, and then coming back around, Marketplace, oh, Rodney. And then Marketplace Gallery, three galleries there are participating. And so we think that the trolley would be a great asset to this whole event. You know, and we've managed um, to do a lot of marketing pretty much out of our pockets for this last event. And so um, I'm also fundraising and we're good for July. So we're up to August now, <laughs> and we're considering doing this year round. We just want to see how it goes. Of course, the trolley wouldn't um, be running in the winter. We wouldn't expect that. So whatever you guys can 
can do, I mean, even if it's one time until Christmas, we would really appreciate it. You know, and get it really rolling for next year. So Just you. one question I have. Um, sure. So the you would start at the art gallery, right? I think this is the route I have in my head. Okay. Um, Dave Frank, and that would take in I love is, sugar. Is, is that the furthest point for the trolley? Um, what would well, be the furthest I, point? I love sugar. I think they're right across the street from okay. each other. So, so. Francesca's is uh -huh. right. Across. So it would take in Francesca's, Dave Frank, I Love Sugar would be the first stop. And the second stop would be Commercial in Maine, and that would be the l, &L Gallery, and t making a right turn to, um, to Upswing and Curly's. They're going to part. Curly's will participate in August. She can't do it this month. Then make, make a turn. Um, the trolley would have to turn. On Main Street, maybe by the pot stores, you know that turn there, that triangle, and then go down to the Creative District, um, and then it would stop at Fumio, Mitchell, um, Rodney, and Tabula Rosa, Rosa, and then come back around Marketplace, and then back down to Main and Commercial, and then back down to Dave Frank. Okay, so we would go from. Uh the furthest point out uh, would be out on East Main. Correct. Okay, and then the furthest point went would be the word that uh, the entry into uh, off of the I-25 would be by Sonic. Right. And then right. David Frank would be the furthest point down that way. Yes. Okay. Because we had talked about putting it back on like we did for the motels, and we only did it on weekends. So that's the thing that we hadn't we hadn't gone anywhere yet this year at that point. But yours would only be on the one Friday per mm -hmm. month. Right. Okay. So we go ahead, man. And you solved the problem of dropping off people and giving them too much time at one place right. and right. leaving them stranded. Right. Um, so that's great. We were we were concerned about that mostly so that we wouldn't leave somebody somewhere for an hour, 30 minutes. Right. Um, what we should consider is if we want the trolley to make any additional stops, like our normal route, or if we just want to commit one Friday a month to the Art Walk specifically. Um, because if it's going to take, that that route would probably take 15 to 20 minutes, do you I, think? I would think so. I think yeah. it should be pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so if our full, uh, our full length of one trolley ride is, is an hour, um, you know, we could, we could carve out that 15, 20 minute every hour for the three hours if we wanted to continue letting people go to some of the other stops on our normal route. Which, which would also benefit you if somebody from these motels wanted to come down. Oh, absolutely. You know. Right, we would have to, you know, outline very clearly that the second vehicle that's coming to pick other people up only stops at art walk destinations right. um so that might be something that on would, map that, that would be, be it for that night mm -hmm. right. right it's just for this one night but right. be aware you know if you want to continue riding the trolley mm -hmm. uh, if you if you i don't think they get off anywhere else um like it on the route that we normally have it's well, not really a drop off thing right it's, even if we uh down commercial if we made the turn at uh, 14 club mm -hmm. and if somebody wanted to get off there and eat it sure. would come back up main street you know if we because it's going to have to turn around and that would be the most appropriate place for it to turn around because the truck it being a bus you know mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that side well yeah a couple of my my ma major concerns right away is i really liked you know the art walk and all that is that are we also driving our guests to the city or our local citizens besides the galleries to places where they could um help uh the businesses in the downtown area and restaurants you know so that uh you know that we that we make it so that maybe at a uh, besides those seven stops is that we do a street corner everything on this that's open tonight is you know cedas and the cafe and you know sort of advertise the businesses and the restaurants that are open on each block too that would be my big thing and i, and I really don't have that in my head right right now but to make sure that our stops include even if there isn't anything on that block if there are restaurants and there are 
uh, businesses that people can go in and shop or whatever, that we have a stop there too because we're driving business to help the economic development of our downtown area, not just the area. Yeah, sure. that's perfect, Cy, because what we're going to do is have a docent hand out tidbits, and in the tidbits, there's going to be a map mm -hmm. of all the participating businesses uh -huh. and the galleries. Oh, that's so, great. yeah, business is equal to the galleries in our in our heads. Yeah. We're there to drive the business and the gallery art. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then my next question is, do you have a budget? Like, all the things you're going to pass out, is there a budget? Is there also a shtick that goes along with it? Like um, everybody that goes downtown, is there a place that they can put uh, their card or their name or something so that you know once a month there's also a big prize during the art walk? Like I would, I would donate one room night or something so that there would be a, a, an extra shtick to go along with that art walk. You know, I mean, I don't know if there's people in town that would. You know, do, you know, we're trying to increase business, not ask things from people. But if there's another sort of shtick for for our downtown, so that people in the surrounding communities not only do we go up above above and beyond because everybody has their art walk, but that we have another shtick that goes right. along with that. Oh, I love that! I love that. Remember the boot girls? Mm -hmm. Remember the boot girls at oh, the yeah. quick draw? Right, well, right, the, right. The docents in my mind right. are the, the same, but maybe yeah. instead of collecting money for donations, they could be asking for. Uh, or both. Arts, or both. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to be in the drawing? Would you like to get some money? You know, I don't right. know. But, you know. Right, right. So. so and then a budget. So whatever that budget would be so that we would know, like, yeah. is it we just approve it and we're already, uh, you know, economically supporting the trolley, but to do ads, yeah. to do giveaways, to do, is there a budget? Yeah. This this time it's 1100 We have 1400 in our kitty, mm -hmm. which... Um, which I fundraise. Um, I still have a couple more big donors to go to, but I, I don't want to, you know, we don't want to use it all at the beginning. This has to be spread out till right. Christmas. Sure. So, um, 1100 a month is kind of what. So, it costs. Uh, is that 1100 a month? Is that for one Friday or? Is yes, yes. That um, includes four entertainment groups oh, at 150 a group. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's our biggest, that's $600 biggest right there. And then, um, actually, the banner uh, that we're working on with Penny is um, $138. That's a one-time. So I think it's not quite 1100 It's probably closer to 1000 And then, you know, some newspaper ads. It's on the radio. Um, Christy's doing all the social media, Facebook. And we're highlighting um, businesses. This month, we're going to do an article on the growth of this event. So this month, there will be business is the highlight. Next month it's going to be entertainment um, for, as a newspaper and, uh, article. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Well, it, I mean, it surely is great for our area that, I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we're finally, I think, I really feel like we're taking that turn and we're becoming that art sort of destination. I mean, I spend a lot of time downtown and boy, the, the crowds that are coming in that are really art related are really amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all the music is just so amazing. Oh my gosh, I think a couple weeks ago there was music every night, and right now I can name that there's music at least four nights a week in town, at least. Wow. You know? It's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's booming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is booming. Yeah. Um, so I think it's not, it's a work session today. It's not necessarily something we can vote on, but the first Friday is coming up, and it's before our next meeting. Mm -hmm. So whatever we have to do, I think we can definitely, leave, you know, loan our trolley service to this next Friday that's coming up. I don't see why we couldn't at least try it and see how it goes. Um, right. And maybe- since, since we don't have the motel lined up. Right, yeah. we don't have that yet, which that's, you know, and we can talk about that later because I've I've had a lot of people ask me about that just in the last few weeks at work. Um, but if we need to call like an emergency vote, um, I'm not sure how we go about that, but- Well, I think that Tom has the, um, credentials to go ahead and talk with Marty and, and get that approved and if they need up to a thousand dollars because of her petty cash uh, uh, you know that we've given her up to so much dollars to spend if they would need a few hundred dollars before that period of time you have that to talk with Marty about if you well if I think it's just that. probably the use of the trolley for that Friday night with no uh, monies involved. Because the I, person uh, who drives the trolley is already going to be there, right? would have Would have already been there and been paid to be there, yeah. correct? Yeah. And his, just his hours would be extended. I mean, just the thing Until that eight. And do, 
do you have people already scheduled coming in? Uh, artists that you're spending the money for this? Oh yeah, Friday? yeah, they're all booked. Everybody's booked and set. And so for this first one, do we want to commit to doing five to eight and keeping it on the regular, keeping it on this 15, 20 minute lineup and not go anywhere else as far as the trolley goes, just to see how it goes and kind of give it a, give it a try. And then, and then after this first one, we can come back and, and see how, how it works and get your opinion on it and maybe, uh, you know, if one of us can be there to ride it, I, I know I have to work that night, but. And and I like Amanda's idea, but since we're in a work session, that would be, right. you, you would go ahead and make that decision with Marty, right. and we would have yeah. I think. Is it, I think that's a way we would have to go on that one now, um, is to just get with Marty to mm -hmm. see how her hours are for the employees because that's the only uh, and the only that are involved and the only that. other hiccup i might see that may happen <clears throat> was if marty knows something sometimes there's indentories or, or reasons that the charlie is being used uh, and at that close notice I, I don't know if it is or not but that, so again it would be the and, end of marty. And marty has a, an amount of money that she can um, go without us uh, making a vote on it so if it has to go to employees mm -hmm. wages so and one more but question I'll get with Marty. Okay. okay and we're covered insurance wise i know yes. we wouldn't we don't have to be concerned about the second vehicle no. that's 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 a good question okay yeah the second vehicle the second vehicle but that would be a, a separate entity yeah. for the tourism separate. board so we don't have yeah. to worry about that okay okay i think it sounds like a great a great way to get people around i have a couple of questions and a suggestion, Paula? Sure, um, You might check with Wally, uh, but there are, there's some dollars available, I think it's through the state for events uh, that just came out in this last legislative session oh. that you may be able to apply for. Oh, great. So I'm not sure if your organization would have to apply, he would have to apply, or maybe the tourism board would have to apply. But there may be some dollars available for something like this. So check with them. I'll do that as soon as possible. Because okay. uh, there is a short window, <coughs> I understand, on some of this. Oh, okay. So I'll check with them. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is um, the stops are going to be three to about three minutes or every whatever. Um, because the streets are so narrow, are you going to be able to block off some of these stops to make sure that you're not impeding traffic for them three to five minutes. So I think that would be a concern, a way to figure out how to take care of that issue. Uh, the last thing I have to recommend is the comedy act that you're going to have, is that going to be indoor or outdoor? Um, I understand it's indoor that he is broadcasting, I'm not sure. It's it's the guy you guys probably all know. Jake Gillespie. Yeah, Jake Gillespie. Yeah. Like, oh, whatever he does. On he usually it. streams it over Facebook. Okay, one of the things that I, uh, we had some uh, feedback at one of our council sessions here recently is some of the language that was being used. Oh, okay. That was a concern. So. Language. Yeah, Jake doesn't get blue. Yeah, being that this yeah. is a community or, you know, event. Kids, be, be kids, there, kids could possibly be there, so I think I'd be okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's an excellent thing. That's excellent points, Mayor. And I may say that at times, what the mayor, uh, he, he did remind me that we, on days that we did do this in the past, that we took time, that outside the businesses or the places that we thought were able to stop, there were some cones so that the, oh. so that the trolley could pull over. Yeah. Excellent, because I was thinking balloons, but that's a lot of work <laughs> going around to each business yeah. right before the event. So, I mean, but I remember the Mitchell cones, having cones yeah, in front cones of that, in front of the champions. Yep. They had yeah. cones. And had, there normally was a trolley stop in front of the Mitchell. I don't know if we still have that spot there. Yeah, so, so that would pretty much take care of Main Street. Yeah. Do you have to get any approval for, from anyone to do that, or just from the businesses? No, 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 no. No. I think just to make sure, uh, call Charlie yeah. at the uh, at the PD, make sure there's not oh. any issues. Charlie, the Charlie. police chief. Oh, Charlie. Okay. And who has the cones? Where would we get the cones? Probably okay. Street and Bridge. Street and Bridge. Yeah. You could probably get a hold of Bob Just. Okay. 
and they'll go to Dan Rosetti at that point. Okay. Oh, that's better. I think cons are great. Do they have a lot of them? <laughs> they do. Great. Right. So we could put out like two or three cones in front of each business that's participating. Yeah. Well, I think what you could do I would it. just make a central point, maybe yeah. like yeah. maybe the Mitchell, and then you have the crosswalk. If you oh. if we stopped at the Mitchell, okay. you have the crosswalk, and you could pretty much service all of those businesses it, in that in that one city okay. block. And I would and then, encourage that. Right. I would encourage that okay. greatly Moving instead the, of one place cross. in particular and then um, another place not in particular. I would encourage that we treated everybody the fairly because in the past. While we didn't mean any harm, remember, right. we had a stop. One of the stops was in front of Moose's, and we thought that was the perfect spa space, but people thought we were doing preference to Moose's because at the time Nancy sat on the board, which we were not, it was the most logical place. So, just the most logical place. Uh, David's Frank would be an excellent place because yeah. it's kind of mm -hmm. set off into a, a little bit, yeah. and then you could serve as Tootie Scoops and. Uh, that sweet shop, yeah, right. three, three areas there, and, and possibly get off there to go to the grill and mm -hmm. to the market. Right. You and, know, and then. I think Nathan Lund is doing the commentary, is what Christy said. Oh, docent? On the, <gasps> is he the, on the trolley? I think he'll be on the trolley. Yes, 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 yes he'll, yes, be, he'll yes. be naming businesses. Right. He would be the best person mm -hmm. to say, hey, check out. This but he'll need like a script. He'll need right. obviously right. recommendations of what he should say. But he is the perfect person to let the writers know that hey, your stop right here is a uh, going to give you some great frozen yogurt. You've mm -hmm. got the wings, the wing pit. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, utilize him as your biggest advertiser. Perfect. Yeah. When, when we first did the the trolley from the malt house to downtown to eateries, mm -hmm. we. Uh, we went on the trolley and we kind of set it up as to the way it would go. Ah, so mm -hmm. um, if you could just get an idea in your head as to probably the most safest places for it to stop at mm -hmm. without yeah, a lot you. of traffic. Yeah. And, then, okay. and an area where you can cover a, a lot of businesses in art galleries. You yeah, know, with, with the minimum number of stops. Right, yeah, right. The right. Maybe consider too, if you have to go, if you're, if you need stops on both sides of the road. Right, to make the circle. Right. The circle, because right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the other thing I recommend with these uh, cones, the incoming cone, I would put, a, if you could, uh, put a stand up and say trolley stop, no parking between oh. three and five or five yeah. to seven, whatever oh, okay. it is. This way people will know, because people will always try, if you don't put anything on there, people will always <laughs> try to park there. Right. So if yeah. you put trolley stop between three and five, no parking. We came across that with uh, when we were doing uh, Christmas with the trolley on Main Street right in front of the uh, the park right there uh, where the Miners Park is. So we had to put columns there to, mm -hmm. to deter the stopping of the parking there. So. What would be an appropriate time to put those do not park, trolley stop, three to five, sign up? I would say probably by two. Two? Okay. <laughs> At least by two o'clock. I would give people time to get out. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is very exciting. Mm -hmm. We're excited to do it. It sure makes it a bigger event for uh, Friday walks, despite being able to have that, you know, entertainment and such. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's something, yeah, the hotels can maybe put up, you know, if we wanted to make a small flyer or something and put them in the hotels, letting you know there, there will be a trolley. That can take you. That can drive you know drive you to all these stops. So. The event is between what five and eight. Five and eight. Five, five to eight. So mm -hmm. instead of putting that sign up at two o'clock, I would say probably three thirty, three probably three thirty before, at least an hour before. Okay. So that. And then Paul, if you have any um, advertisements uh, that we could that we could place around our businesses or around hotels. Yeah, but we did that. We okay. did that last time. So that's really important. It's like number one, Good getting place. the flyers to the hotels for their guests at night. Mm -hmm. Putting on Facebook right. and making sure. Right. Facebook, Welcome Center. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll tell key cards. She had to step out for a few minutes, so... Um, Maybe we can move on. I don't, yeah, I wonder if she brought one, but uh, we'll just move to the next one now. 
I know, Jared, your way down there, um, maybe we could take you um, and place that house. That'd, that'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, from what I understand, I guess with the tourism board has a billboard somewhere in the Castle Rock area yep. mm -hmm. that uh, is coming up for, or I guess an opportunity to change, change it out. And Marty asked if I could maybe provide some something uh, that might go on that billboard. So <clears throat> I have some different suggestions. I'll take them off because I seen it yesterday and it's pretty awesome to see that. <laughs> So these are photocopies and the copy is a little dark um, compared to the actual image. Um, so the approach is to I guess it's an eight second rotating, so we have an, an eight second opportunity to make an impact. Uh, it's 24 hours a day, eight, eight, seconds. Seconds, eight yeah. seconds, which is fabulous. Um, so that we, since we don't have, a, 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 uh, we have eight seconds to make that impression to go with the image and fewer words. Um, the Office of Outdoor Recreation is promoting Trinidad as Trinidad True Outdoors. So whatever, um, and the advantage of that is it gives the a person the opportunity to think whatever True Outdoors is to them, we're providing that. So it's not just necessarily one particular item. We're providing an image, an impression, something that sells them what they think True Outdoors is. So whether, whatever, regardless of the image we pick, we're providing that outdoor experience. So if to them, true outdoors is biking, that image, that is what we're selling, is that brand identity of being, Trinidad offers the true, authentic outdoor experience, whether it's fishing, hunting, biking, kayaking, paddling, Trinidad provides it. And so that's what the Office of Outdoor Recreation is pushing out, is that you come to Trinidad to have a true, authentic, outdoor experience so none of, I mean that is these can be manipulated this was just the the graphic designers quick here's some stuff let them look at it see what they think we can pick different images if you even want to go with this idea um, and that you know this will kind of be open to suggestion as to what it is as a tourism board you're you want to see on that billboard but I think something along these lines that kind of puts it out there, the, the image are action oriented. It's not just a still landscape. It's, it's getting people to, to embrace or feel an experience is taking place and they can see themselves doing that here in Trinidad. So. The one thing I, I'd like to see, like, you know, and you said there, there are open changes is the Trinidad True Outdoors, like in red. Bigger, That's, I, I've had that comment red, too. Cause Trinidad now is in red, and that's what pops off, off of that side sure. now is is that. And, um, but I think, you know, we have a year now to put all of these in. And each one of these that you presented to us is going to catch somebody's eye. Exactly. Because there's the fisherman, there's the hunter, there's the, the biker, the hiker. Yeah, I, I think it'd be good to have some sort of raft. They're like floating or raft on a kayaking yeah, like one water. water. Yeah. yeah. See, even the lake. Yeah. If somebody watched you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because you look at Pueblo Lake, you look at Chatfield, those places are packed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This place is not, not. <laughs> you know, and for you to get your boat on Chatfield or get it on Pueblo Reservoir, you know, but to come down here and, and have this yeah. whole lake for yourself, you know. For now, anyway. You guys are talking, and it's so insp inspiring, especially after hearing Paula. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be cool, like, if the tourism board gave, like, once a week out, like, a, a fishing rod? Or, uh, like, you know, some outdoor recreation in the city area, if we could figure out how we, you know, do that. It would be really, yeah, yeah I mean, to market that water. I have an water. idea on that that matches something I wanted to bring uh -huh. up. Um, 
one of the things that you know, we kind of discussed, uh, in, not specifically, but in different areas, is training local businesses, everybody to be hosts, to be, you know, uh, the hospitality, you know, uh, industry is, you know, and, and to constantly do this and then to find some way to have a contest yeah. with our local people and have uh, maybe two or three people anonymously just go into, you know, different places and ask questions and then come back once a week. You know, either an individual at a restaurant or, a, you know, a gift shop or something, be you know decided that they win this prize, and, mm -hmm. and it should be something that they can use them, right, you know, a fishing rod or right. uh -huh. different things like that. So that would be a way of, uh -huh. of doing sense. it, a way yeah, of promoting yeah, it, and, uh, yeah. and something like that. Well, something you can do with that is if you decide to give away something like that, do it at a, one of the businesses. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. And, 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 and move it around. Sure, that's yeah. a great idea. So what yeah. it means is you would register at Moose's, or that you would register at Smokehouse, or you would register at a business for that week's prize to get people to do to go downtown and you know, register. One, one thing that you can consider and check with CPW, maybe you want to give out maybe a couple of yearly. Oh, that is uh, such a park, good park, idea. Park, park, park passes. Yeah. That would like we wouldn't even have to think really on you know, buying the fishing rods and stuff if we just as a board decided that we were going to do that once a month or once a week and you had to register in that individual business downtown to promote our, uh, you can our do that state with, parks. You can do that with Monument Lake and a yearly pass. Yeah, it's yeah. a great like idea. Yeah. The dues, you know, should move around to different businesses. I and mean, then, when, I do that yeah. going at that business. When you think the bang for your buck, you know, eighty bucks to buy a pass, but we get all that advertising is that's a really and, and we help the downtown area, which is always our goal is to help the mm -hmm. people survive. Well, like each each one of these ads, you can go to that person, like the biking maybe um, the paradises would tune up a bike. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, but, you yes. know, I know that uh, Locus is trying to open up that other <laughs> event here in town too. So yeah, I guess I think it's it's here I think some good ideas. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 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 like, I actually think the lighting and the words on these are really good, just because of who I am. I'm uncomfortable seeing a child with a gun. That's just who I am. <laughs> and that's why. But, but I think I think the, the lighting. I think I think the lights one is amazing. I love the biking one. I like all of them. It's just like I said because of who I am. It, 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 it. But wow, what? Who came up with this? I missed out on part of this. So this is a graphic designer that I've used. You probably know who he is. Abe Elliott. He used to work for Danielson and Company here yeah. in town for yeah. years and years and years. Um, he's done all my graphic design when I was in in Red in Red Home, mm -hmm. um, and he's he's good. I mean, yeah. One one thing I would like to see on this one with the fish, mm -hmm. instead of the pyramid, if we could put Simpsons Rest with the sign lit up. Oh yeah. My wife was suggesting they could be the similar thing, but it looked like Fisher's Peak, it kind of right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that's right associated right. with this area. Right. Right. Instead, instead of the ocean. Sure, brand it. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. I was curious, what are the pyramids? It's supposed to be mountains, so give us filling of all oh, the okay. mountains in the, the background. Peaks. Oh, peaks okay. mm -hmm. But it can yeah. be, like I said, all this is just his, I asked him to throw something together really quick, and he just, yeah. here's what you got. Wow, you it quick. It's <laughs> quick. It's yeah. Really yeah. Cool. Well, like, um, like Fisher's Peaks, iconic. Yeah. Um, Simpsons Rest is iconic. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like the Trinidad Dam with uh, the peaks behind it. Mm-hmm. It, right. You know, like that. Yeah. Just things that pop of, of this area. And that we want to focus as part of that thing is is more and more marketing, seeing people doing an activity, right. Right. being Passion. that engaged, yeah, and mm -hmm. so they can identify. Yeah. Um, they everybody has a pretty picture. Too. Exactly. And that's, I think that's totally what it sells the experience of You know, the one with the bike, even if you would put the, the uh, Twin Peaks in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm not sure. I thought I saw a picture of, yeah, like this one where somebody's running. I think I've seen a something that CPW came out with that showed a trail um, with a picture of Fisher's Peak behind it. I'm not sure if that could be incorporated somehow. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Josie, he's a he's an award-winning designer, so I'm always challenging right. him. All right, yeah. Mr. Award-winning designer, let's <laughs> yeah. see what you can do. <laughs> I love the energy that goes behind them, like watching their legs run or the bike, you know, with right. the stuff in the back. Yeah. It shows I, movement, and it. I had an opportunity yesterday to go down the Platte River where they where they oh. did do the work, and I was pretty impressed. I read right. into that REI, and yeah, and just how local businesses tied into that. And, and I just think awesome. that it's uh, just really a good thing with what's going to happen with this river. I'd like to see maybe a fly fisherman in the river yeah. here. 100%. Uh, yep. Trinidad. Yeah, I just, you know, just. 100%. And, yeah, and the water okay. sports, I think. Right. Yeah, I, I did ask yeah. Brad Kirby if he had any pictures of uh, the previous years of them tooting down that river. So yeah, I think that'd be great. Yeah. That tremendous, but, you know, the Trinidad, out, Trinidad True Outdoors. That sells us for sure, big time, especially in the hot, hot summer. Tell me when the, the new uh, board's going to be up on the 25. It should be any time after we uh, uh, approve that. Because uh, we already approved it. So. Right, so you know, any time after. It just hasn't changed. Once it. they've got the approval, they'll, they'll put the thing up. They'll put the billboard up. The reason I bring that up is because I, like I like the idea of using a, a finding a graphic designer mm -hmm. with a basic style so that when we start you know changing the boards and stuff there is they don't have to be the same right but there's a theme but there's yeah. a sense so there's a yeah. so then when you see it's yes. another oh it's another trend ahead you know, it's another, you know. yeah and uh, see and you're you're somebody that we need like this to bring because we've been looking for uh, a photo gallery to be able to pick up from everything that we do do yes um I know I, 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 no, I'm not interrupting, but that's part of, we need our own personal photo right. assets of Trinidad, right. I mean, whether we hire a photographer or right. however we accumulate that mm -hmm. so that we do have. Well, that's, that's one of the things that we've been trying to do. We even had uh, a photo contest to get some of that. And, and so what I, that's what I would like to is just like a whole photo gallery that we can just go to and, and just keep on advertising with new things. and. and like that, is, yeah. Because like, the the board that's out there, like this is outdoors. That one's stressing downtown, right? And stressing Trinidad, mm -hmm. but they can all be, you know, similar. Right. They don't have to be like that one. Actually, I wanted that one to go to a, to a graphic artist, and I think she just sent it in. But yeah. uh, you know that that consistency that mm -hmm. uh, you know it, it's it's a uh, it's an underlying form of branding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, it, you know, you keep. Yeah. Well, it makes us consistent in our message too. If we have random stuff all over the place, but once we get have a consistent message that we're pushing out everywhere through all our different marketing avenues, then we're we're really getting our bang for our buck because we're consistent with everything that we. Well, put the out. one thing about that billboard, Jared, I don't know if you know, uh, six hundred and fifty thousand people pass between Denver and Colorado Springs a week. So. Even if we got an eighth of interest on that billboard, what's the cost of that per year? Or um, we just renewed it we for just nine thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you guys ought to look into it for another year. I think we, we, yeah, we, we just yeah. we just yeah. lost it. It's too bad that they don't have something yeah. south of here like right. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know, you brought up such a great point, though, about our photography contest. Is mm -hmm. that we, uh, During our photography contest, we focused on events mm -hmm. and outdoors, right. wildlife and outdoors. We did not have, we could run a, a another photo of only um, athletic or outdoor recreation. recreation in the area contest yeah. only. You know that that board that board is given us yeah. the ability yeah. to yeah. So, you know, yeah. so first, no, do they, yeah. do, they yeah. do anything like this, like in Albuquerque or Amarillo? I don't, I don't know. We just got this opportunity through uh, the billboards that we are advertised in. So uh, is this we go little... down to Texas quite a bit. We, do you come back to Clayton in that area? Yeah, from Amarillo. Well, from most Amarillo. of my tourism experiences in Amarillo. Okay. Do they have any billboards like this? I mean, for a, for a Not for a, there used to be when I would come up this way, you know, four or five years ago. There was an old billboard, very cluttered, very busy, and fading, and really. Uh, That's the one. Is that the one that you're talking about that we have? 
Well, when I asked, uh, we discontinued that one because there was no lighting on it. Right, and it's it a left, a it's a left-hand reader. Yeah, and uh, I was told that it uh, by the previous city manager that oh, we don't worry about that because you know we don't pay for it. Well, tear it down then because people don't know we're not paying for it, and it's an ugly board, and that will reflect on mm -hmm. you know what people think of a community. Oh, like, I like this one here because it's <clears throat> rotating. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know we have. Anytime we can change this, so we can change it weekly, we can change it daily. Season, season, you know, uh, like seasonally, seasonally right. I think is a really good idea. Right, you know, so that our opportunity with this board that I saw was a great thing is we can change it anytime that we want and yeah. as many different shots oh, awesome. as, as we have. And so we just renewed it here, so the new renew is not yeah. until 2022. So. Right. So, so what do you need from us? What's the, is uh, it, I have three. Grant applications? Are you just asking for one or for three different? Uh, why do you have? Three? I don't know. But I just, you know. <laughs> all, all I'm asking, all I, this was just Marty wanting me to provide something for you guys to look at. You guys decide how you want the billboard to go, yeah. and I'll get the designs made. And I'm not asking for any funding on that. However, you fund those billboards. It's already paid for. Yeah, it's, it's, right. that's, yeah. That's we just need good. ideas. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what you brought to us is, and this is just like I said, a sample. We can manipulate and put mm -hmm. different pictures and, and change the colors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I just think we should definitely push that and turn that true outdoors kind of brand identity out there for people to start embracing it. I like that logo. Cool. I like that logo. True that true outdoors. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and like yeah. So you know what we want, some of the ideas that we want, yeah. some of the changes that we want, if anybody else has any other changes. So when does that, you know, if we can change that one ever. So it's not like a deadline where we have to have all, it. All you have to do is give like that to Marty. I, you know, okay. we would like to see what you have going. Absolutely. Save, save, save for the rest of the summer, sure. what you have going. Right. And then and just, just so we have an idea of what's going to be coming up on it. Totally. You know, totally. And did I hear you mention, like, the Trinidad ticket to something brighter. Right, right. Yeah. You know, I'll, red, I'll, red pops. You guys will approve, I mean, mm -hmm. whatever it is before it goes. So you guys are liking right. the, the color, the picture, you know, what, stuff like that. I, I was just following Marty's suggestion to provide something for you guys to look right. at. So. See, like, I would like to see some of the Purgatory River. Sure. Some shots of downtown. Yeah. You know, for shopping. Yeah. You know, is maybe you're the, the go to guy to, to help us develop. What's going to go on this billboard? Absolutely. Continue, continually changing for the next year. Yeah, you know, that is is definitely um, be the, You know, you you're in, you're in, in the position of you're the outdoors man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and you can you can get you can set us up with that billboard as to what's happening. Yeah. I even think events like we have uh, Art Arcade coming up. Big you picture know, of Blues Fest or Blues Fest, picture of you know, people just, downtown at right There's, there's right. the most awesome picture of that Blues Fest set up on Main and Commercial with the stage. Um, it's in the book, isn't it? Uh, yes. In the, in the no, it's not, it's not in this new book, but okay. it pops up every now on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, it gives a cool shot of Main and Commercial on the corner and, um, you know, Rodney, Rodney Woods with the dragon uh, thing. That's, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's an awesome thing for for that, and especially at night, if we could get a nice shot of that with the fire coming out of it, you know, just but but some, you know stuff going on Main Street, so it helps businesses there and and, and absolutely it's like that. You know what I really believe uh, tourism should do two things. One is I think you should adopt the Trinidad True Outdoors mm -hmm. as your logo, and the other one I think you should also adopt another logo for the Creative District Center. Right. Yes, okay. Okay. And adopt those two so that you can use for everything that you guys put out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, kind of the the grant I have, it should only be one. It was for the three thousand dollars, and that's just to develop marketing assets, mm -hmm. pay pay for you know to produce this, to produce Trinidad True Outdoor branded stuff, so we can start promoting that to everywhere that. That's we, what we're about. We, we can do that out of our advertising mm -hmm. budget. That would be perfect. So, um, and that would push us further, our advertising further than it's gone in a long right. time. I think. Uh, I really do. Yes. You know, this is the vision that we've like mm -hmm. started with. You know, the billboard is the is the big 
sure. window for us. Sure. You know, Do we have other building building. boards or just that one? We have mm -hmm. one here at the south. Uh, yeah, so it's I twenty mm -hmm. going south here. Yeah, it's a right hand reader coming north. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jeff, have you considered anything out towards Amarillo, down towards Albuquerque? Well, Phil, yeah. Phil brought that up. You know, the reason we were able to get this this billboard uh, because it's it was normally like twenty grand a year. Cool. So yeah. the last two years, because of the pandemic, they've cut the advertising costs down. So we've gone on board and done it for two years now. And they so kept us at the same, same low price. Yeah, price. Yeah, this year was too great. Yeah, totally. yeah, well. So we'll see what it looks like next year, right. but I think it's a foolproof place to have a billboard. You right. know, another one would be that Texas area because we know right. they're coming anyway. Right. And if we if we are going to be competing with New Mexico for people coming here for pot, we need to have some sort of advertisement that tells them Go a little bit further. Yeah. Well, take it a little bit further and get right. It's just like they say, Amanda. The the two biggest ports of entry into the state of Colorado are I twenty five out of the south and mm -hmm. BIA. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. If, if we had something just right after Clayton, mm -hmm. or even maybe yeah. before. The, the hardest part about that route is that um, is that the signage in that area is just bad signage. The signage that we had for a long time was left hand read, wrong angle, yeah. non lit. Yeah. It was just so. I mean, we can look at that again. It was a great place. Even, the even if it's between just, Dumas and Texline or Dumas yeah. and Clayton, you know, right. uh, because you have that point where Oklahoma comes in mm -hmm. yeah. down into there. You know what I mean? So, so even if you, because um, I traveled that road for UPS for uh -huh. so, so many years, you know, so it's, it's, right. The traffic there is, in, and like I say, when you were into Dumas, you start getting Oklahoma into Dumas, and then, and now when you get from Clayton, it's a four lane. You know, when I was traveling on it, was just a two lane. Mm -hmm. So the traffic is even yeah, no, even I more now. Too because some are going to yeah. Maybe we should just investigate what is available that direction and see if there's even but anything that makes sense. You know what? Just because I I do do that road every three or four months still mm -hmm. because of summer being down yeah. in uh, college, but. Um, you know what might be really a, a good thing, knowing that road now, I don't know, is there's a couple more communities. What is that one community that you come into? And like, right after you get over the text line, that's pretty full. Well, there's tech, there's, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's tech line places. Is, is actually in yeah, those hard. towns, no, right? No, in those towns, put a sign. Because, I mean, we can drive it again, but that those words are just such... And there's small boards there, you know, those little boards. Clayton, to me, as if, yeah. But see, I, I think, I think if you're going to go into digital, you're probably not going to go get nothing until you go into Dumas or into Amarillo. Is or you know, they're they're and like Albuquerque, you know, Albuquerque has it, and Santa Fe may have that, you know. But as you get into the smaller areas, less population, you're not going to get the digital billboard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's those areas that where there's a, a lot of people are trying to target with the, with the digital board, but they are out there now. You know, and I think you know one in Amarillo, mm -hmm. there's a digital board there, just letting know people. You know, hey, Trinidad, there, here's who we are. I think it's worth exploring. I think. You know. So what if we said today's the twenty third? If we had like. A something to vote on in like three weeks two weeks sure um and maybe we could uh target uh two or two or three more pictures towards summertime water color yeah. you know yeah. something that pops um and and our next meeting would be a voting meeting so if you possible get a good color to do <laughs> i love your idea of getting I don't know how many times it frustrates me you know, when to be in a restaurant, have somebody say to the waiter or the, the attendant, whatever you want to call them, what's their, you know, we're traveling through, what's their doing this town? And all they say is, there's nothing to do here. I mean, that is like our Perfect. first line oh, of Oh, that just sends me out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, well, even if, like Phil says, if we branded this, if we had these in restaurants. Yeah. 100%. I mean, how many people are coming off these roads from different places? If, we, if we've branded this, yeah. everything is, you have everything there. You yeah. know, is, That's is why I was saying there. earlier that I think if you were to adopt that logo, take, for instance, think of this picture here that's in this magazine here. 
there's this logo, which was adopted by city council. But I think if you had a adopt like a an outdoors yeah. logo, mm -hmm. and you create a district logo that you could incorporate into any anything that you guys put out there, right. that would be consistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. To, to do that, it, it's going to take a concerted effort to train. Yeah. Make sure all these people, for one thing, know things to say. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, what is there to do? As well as understanding that whoever they're talking to could possibly be. You know, exactly. The, you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're a mystery right. shopper. Or like a mystery yeah. shopper. Oh, shopper. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so to treat everybody like, you know, and then they get in the habit. San Antonio did this about 20 years ago, and it was tremendously successful. And now you go there. From taxi cab drivers to you know, uh, yeah. Belden, you know, hotels, whatever. It's you know, hi, how are you? They, they are all mm -hmm. ambassadors, yes. and uh, it is, it's proven very successful. We have the potential here. Mm -hmm. Tom, you know, I mean, my suggestion, I think that that would be something you could take back and maybe to your designer, mm -hmm. maybe get some suggestions of a logo of some kind, and sure. bring it back to these people so yeah. that they can. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, that's that's all I have. <laughs> so I'll I'll work on getting some stuff for you guys for your voting meeting. It's um, July seventh. Just okay. so you that's kind of quick, but it is. And if it needs to be, we can always call an emergency vote okay. for anything. So. Cool. Well, thank you guys for your time. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks for bumping me up. I didn't want to commit the last part of the meeting. Good job, Jerry. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you had stepped out, so I had stepped out for a second. So. We'll uh, we'll we popped in up in front and we'll come to the motel key cards. Were you able to bring one? Or? I did. That's what I had around awesome. the car for. But then I ran out to the car and they locked the doors in the city after I ran out. <laughs> I didn't think they were open this morning, so I had to run around all the building to the front. <laughs> the doorbell. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, so I did find one, and. Um, and I will pass it around. So as you can see, it's a beautiful Trinidad thing. And the inside cover here, this is one of maybe four or five that we used. Um, uh, it has events or things in Trinidad. We could have events. You could, we could also have, uh, you know, the outdoor recreation things to do in Trinidad. Like, you know, we could not always the things that people think about, which is like the golfing and certain bike routes or certain things that we could also add like the Frisbee Park, mm -hmm. parts of the River Walk, or you know things that we wanted. And then they have these, they have the little pockets in it. We have the pockets in it. So, um, so we put our key cards in there. But during during festivals or events, or many restaurants, Reno's and other restaurants downtown would give us coupons. We would put it in there, and so when people awesome. came in, and then on the back of it, it has pictures and and stuff that happened. And of course, there were different versions of it. And then uh, it was it was just such a great way to say. You know, here and people that because your front desk clerks, you have them from all different venues, right? You have them from the high school kids all the way up to the all, uh, to the older people. And you know, sometimes when you're really busy, you get exhausted saying the same thing over and over again. So instead, you could just be really nice and here's your key cards. And some people we open it up and say, "Oh my gosh!" But there were so many people, including dignitaries, that had come to the hotel and saw that we had done this and they had really loved it. So I'm going to pass it around at like Christmas. Sort of see it, and then I contacted Steve Wharton, who was the one that produced those for us before. And I have sent all your email because I didn't get to contact, didn't get to talk to him till last night. In your email, I forwarded it all to you, but I will let you know what that is. There's no price increase. The last time we did it was 2016, and uh, and because he called yesterday to find out from the printer what that cost would be, and I will tell you, I can put, print this. I'll give it to you first, Tom. So. This was the actual contract that we had for it. All the hotels and motels in town. So yeah, we picked, we took them to all the hotels and motels in town, and so it, it, uh, the contract was he produced eighteen thousand mm -hmm. at forty six forty, wow. an additional ten thousand was twenty three hundred, and he did the exact same bid five years later because he called the company and they were have whatever. So so it is. Uh, and you have it in all your emails now. It's uh, for 18,000 of those. And I have to tell you that one of the best things about those is that we reused them. Yet a lot of them came back and, and we didn't, right? 
but because they were so solid and good, the housekeepers when they were in the rooms and they were just clean because people would take their keys and the and the coupons out of that doors, they would leave the folder at times. And so we would end up getting like 10 or 15 back a day. So at the end of the month, we still had an extra 400 or so, you know, because um, they were- You know, the only change that I would say is that you don't have the great outdoors we were talking about. Yeah. The new change, you know, mm -hmm. put that back there instead of the, tree, uh, the great outdoors. And he and said he outdoors. would, for the same price, he said he would redo the artwork, whatever you guys wanted. But anyway, right. you'll find it in your thing. But this was the bid from 2016. And there's the bid, it's the exact same bid. Oh, so that's great. OK. That's good thing. So I want you guys to keep it. Yeah, you can keep that one. OK, thank you. They're rare. They're hard to find. They're to pass anymore. And, it's been and years. is he planning on doing any changes? I mean, he will obviously have to do changes yeah. on dates. And yeah, that's what he said. He okay. said, now that's not new. Sh that's not. The front cover, he would use the same front sure. cover, which is a beautiful front cover. Yes, it and is. It, it, you know, it's a very elegant, it's very upscale front cover. Yep. So if you're just stopping in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. and you stay, end up staying in Trinidad, and they hand that to you at 10 o'clock at night, in the morning you decide, well, maybe I will go to breakfast downtown. This mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Should it be updated though? He said. Every, he said all the all the typing sure. and the pictures on the back. Yeah. He'll do whatever. It's a beautiful yeah. photo. Couldn't you recreate yeah. it though with the yeah. updated yeah. building? Because yeah. Whispering Winds is there now. We've got the different cafe there. Yeah. So it, it wouldn't be well, a bad idea even to even recreate if, that even photo. If, just even if we could do this, is is if at one point we can make our restaurant part small. Oh, yeah, double the double there. use of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So not everybody has a book. Yeah, yeah. little yeah. Slip, slips of paper. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Are all, all the hotels able to use these? Are all of them use it at one point because it's the same thing with the holiday. And you know that girl tells me we can't use it. We're a franchise. I says, you know, she doesn't realize that I ran a holiday in here for ten years too. <laughs> you can use them. Everybody uses right. them. In fact, most franchises like the craft artwork and the craft stuff that they mm -hmm. do locally. So, um, I and that might change now. Maybe if you talk to them, that would change. Even here. these are deals. But everybody else used them. You know. You know. That yeah. And they, they were they were just great tools to put in people's hands. Well, yeah. what it does is just it, it signals to. The people that come to stay at these hotels and motels, that that particular entity is on top of what's going on in their community. Mm -hmm. It's not, they're just not narrow focused, you know, they're just not. Well, yeah, and I agree with there. you, it's also what our community is on, because you know what I mean? It's like we're on to our community as hotels, but the community's on it because they're giving them to the hotels and having the hotels be able they know that if you've got a coupon for people downtown or a little thing says don't forget art walk tonight which is what we did then too sure mm -hmm. uh it it also signifies that the city's on it that they're supplying that to the hotels because you know well how many times do you hear because i've heard hundreds of times already Geez, we used to pass the year, but we never stopped. Yeah, well, I know that's all the time. time. I know. You know, and so that's that's like yeah. that's like one of the biggest things that you hear now is, mm -hmm. uh, and especially when we when like we were in the doctor's office yesterday in Denver, and, and he said, "Well, I pass through there all the time." <laughs> so my wife said, "Well, you gotta stop." You know, so he but he comes from here, goes from down to Albuquerque, mm -hmm. and then there's another doctor that we have. He started stopping here because of Nano's. Mm -hmm. So now he calls her from Bubble, has the order ready so they can go out to Albuquerque <laughs> to his parents. Mm -hmm. So they stop there and get all this Italian food stuff <laughs> yeah. from France, you know. So, and there's another doctor that he does the same thing because he was turned on to by this one doctor. But a lot of people are starting to venture in now, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and we just have to open and, them doors, you know, yeah. for them and, to come in. Those oh. mom and pop restaurants are mm -hmm. so important they to our growth. I, you know, I hear that from the hotel all the time. Nano and Nano's, uh, uh, Reno's, mm -hmm. those are actually right. places that they plan on stopping. Moose is sometimes if they're fisher, fisher yeah. people. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, those are really the craft experience that we're building here in Trinidad is those craft businesses and so that the, they sustain themselves. Yeah. Well, you know, the other one that I think we need to start, you guys need to start, or they need to start looking at the Sunset Grill. Uh huh. That's yeah, kind of a, absolutely. Right. The, the, just, sure. just the, the environment. That yeah, is yeah. special. It's yeah. something yeah. that. You know, Bill Wars is common. Yeah, that's a good one. Actually. Yeah. There's a lot of mom. The last year we had the blues at Central Park. This lady came to the, the 
booth that we had, and it was amazing. They came all the way from Louisiana just to hear this one band. Wow. You know, to come all the way from there to hear that, you know, because they knew that they were going to be in Trinidad, you know. Like this one that we're having this year, this Collier, she's like been in New York, she's been everywhere, and she's coming back now. And she was here uh, two years ago, I think. And just, and people are just, well, they have their following, mm -hmm. you know, and, and Rodney has people with his following. You know, it's just, it's just. You know, I was at a event in Denver a couple of weeks ago, and I talked to a lady, and she said she and her husband, like I said, would always pass through. Mm -hmm. They by chance decided to stop here in Trinidad, and they said, we'll be back. Yeah, and you hear that too. That's mm -hmm. that's the other thing that you hear is they'll be back. But you and I are lifelong residents here, and it's changing. It is. You know, I worked for UPS for 35 years. I delivered. I don't even know anybody anymore. It sounds like <laughs> you know that's that's how that's I know, how much, and it's, almost changed. That's how much it's changing. Again, on Facebook, yeah. every to every whenever whenever I do get on Facebook, there's always a question like, "I just moved here. Does anybody know a dog groomer? I just moved here. What's the most?" And you're like, "Whoa, that's like, what's the chances of me? Because I'm on there like five minutes right. every 24 hours." But right. that, to always see right. that happening. Mm -hmm. Well, where, where Chris lives, when I first was delivering out there, there was three lots, three places. There's probably 150 out there now. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, probably a hundred, maybe. Yeah, that's, Red that's, that's how much the, that's living there and that. When we delivered the Santa Fe Trail, when they first developed Santa Fe Trail, it took us an hour to deliver it. We're in there now six hours. They're in there now six hours delivering Santa Fe Trail. Yeah. So that's how many new people are coming to Trinidad. Yeah. But, you know, so. And and I think COVID's changing the way people can work. Yeah. Well, just to let you know that. Um, I was at an Action 22 meeting a couple of weeks ago, too, in Pueblo, and uh, they were talking about broadband, and they had a guy from uh, CDOT. And CDOT, you've probably seen the running fiber, mm -hmm. and at some point in time that uh, they said Trinidad will be able to tie into that, uh, that line. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get in touch with uh, the guy's name, his last name is Martinez. I want to see if he will come down and or at least virtually give counsel uh, yeah. a presentation on uh, how this is all going to work. So since you have all the info on the card. Uh, and we'll I just, forwarded it to you guys, so and we can we'll put just, it on our next, uh, on our next um, The next meeting is to vote on is July 7th, which is soon. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Steve can have like a design mock-up ready to go by then. Um, well, um, Surely we can ask, um, you know, that would mean that he would work without having an approval from us. So I'll go ahead and go down that pathway. Okay, that would make some people a little nervous, but. And it's, it's yeah. pretty much, it's yeah. a pretty, yeah. I don't know what he's charging for design yeah. or if he's charging. That's why you couldn't get those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, well, yeah, we'll, well, we'll, we'll find, find, find out the cost. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you say, we, uh, Marty has a little bit of yeah. Money to, to right. Yeah. Right. Well, that takes us to our. You know, the next thing we need to look at is advertising budget and how much we do we're, still have left in there. That's coming down the line. Mm -hmm. so, and, and and the benefit. One of the benefits for that is that uh, based on last year's budget that we formed versus this year's hotel occupancy and rev car rates, uh, we will have more money in our budget. At the and the thing of it is, is the reserve that we have is for moments like now, that it's reopening after COVID. Mm -hmm. right. This is one of the that great opportunities to, mm -hmm. to really, you know, and that's what the reserve is there for, is, is for uh, an occasion like this. Yeah. And I think, yeah, if we can get those, if we can get those key cards out by the middle or end of July, or even at the beginning of August, the sooner the better. I just, well, and, you know. and where we're going, thanks, Amanda. But where we're going in Trinidad is, 
you know, so the slower seasons, those are even more valuable for because we can, you know, if we think, well, October will be busy this year, right, Mayor? But but by the end of October, November, you know, hopefully we'll have them done in August, but to drive business to those downtown businesses in November. Because if you're staying in a hotel and you still see these are the things to do in November downtown, if the museums are open, if the restaurants have food, if... Um, what restaurants will still be having music because it looks like we're not going to slow down on that. I mean, you know, the lounge is going to continue to do music every week. The LA Grill will. Club 14 is. Paradox is. Like Lucky is. That's five places. Uh, Jujo's. That's six places that will continue to do music without even a a amping on anybody else. So, you know, that could be part of that little insert to get on off times of year, too. All those cards, like so even year round. Uh -huh. What it yep. does is those that people are coming for like Thanksgiving to visit parents and mm -hmm. Christmas, mm -hmm. it puts a food, something in their mind for right. maybe they'll want to come back. Yeah, next parade time. of lights, yeah, the lighting of the Christmas tree. We should have a large number of people coming that first weekend of October. Yeah. Yes, you know, definitely. Besides the uh, cycles, the, you know. So maybe they should also be like a seasonal thing. I don't know if that's going to be a big enough car to fit all of... I don't know. Yeah, just to, yeah, I think, you know, yeah. Something I want to mention to you guys, uh, Marilyn Lucia called me last week, and there's a lady by the name, I can't remember what her name is now, but she just moved in, she's an artist, and she uh, did portraits of all of the fallen firefighters from 9 11. You don't have Don? Yes. And she is going to have this um, traveling thing put here in Trinidad between the so August, September, and October. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is such a huge thing that uh, she, they had it in New York and they started out with three months. They had to extend it to 10 months because it was so popular. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be here during that time that the Santa Fe Trail is going to be going on. So mm -hmm. uh, I talked to her also about trying to do a special event for 9-11 because this year 9-11 is on Saturday where we would invite some of our dignitaries, some of our state legislators, our, our federal register, our governor, to come down and do maybe a special event uh, personalized to firefighters on that Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, so I, that would I, be I, something I, that you guys may keep in the back of your mind. Okay. Yeah, I think Don Seibel, as I mean. Seibel, you're right. Yeah. But she just moved here, I guess, about six months ago. She's got quite a, a, an interesting history. I wound up running into her and visiting with her coffee. Yeah, no, that's fabulous. I haven't heard of her. There's so many fabulous new artists in town. There's, I mean, every oh day. Gosh. Oh my gosh, there's so many good singers. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so crazy how much good music we have going on. We're just building on it. It's just mind blowing. Mayor, you should stop in if you have time sometime on uh, at on Monday nights. They have open mic at Paradox, mm -hmm. and they have new artists in town that are singing. You just you oh. just have to shake your head. They are so darn good. Krista Russell. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Sal Page told me one day uh, when they had that opening at the know, lounge, and she he said, "There's more night or night in my life here in Trinidad than there is in Pueblo." Yeah, it, I mean, I, I mean, oh, there's, there's just so many good ones. Oh. <laughs> so there's that one girl. There's, there's a girl, Mayor, that sings well, with a baby on her head. Commercials, <laughs> commercials yeah, like, never, never been, been like this the way so it is good. now. And that's what we're going to draw people in the Trinity. Mm -hmm. that all this so kind of life and stuff yeah. with the other kids. Because this committee has done <laughs> such a good job of promoting tourism here. We try. We all try. It takes a community to, but yeah, it really is like I. I literally go there and I just smile for an hour and a half because my mind is so blown that this is free in Trinidad and that they live here. They're, it's just amazing. Such great artists in town. Your honey, you. He sang a couple weeks ago at Paradox on Monday night. Is oh, it? Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all, everybody was like, oh, like. Is he the editor? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you oh, yeah. just, you, it is just like, it is just. Unbelievable. The great talent that's here. Yeah. Musicians are having a great time in this city right now. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good time for us. So. Yeah. Maybe someday y'all get paid too. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, review financials. Moving from one line item to increase the budget in advertising and publications. 
based on July agenda. We're, were we also going to have money moved over for grants also? I think or, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we still have two grant cycles. Two cycles. So leftover in local festival funding is 15,820 um, for two more cycles. And um, outside contract services is I think where we were gonna pull it from mm -hmm. to split that. The available budget there is $20,926. And I don't know. It looks like we're still sitting at about twenty thousand for advertising. If I'm reading all this correctly, <laughs> if we plan to give what could we just say three thousand to Jared, and then another couple thousand for the key cards, we're we're pretty similar in advertising and. Local festival funding is it at like fifteen thousand. Yeah, and, and this report is a good report, but it's not a true report because it doesn't show the money that we have. Also, uh, it shows our operating, uh, uh, but it doesn't show the money that we have in reserves. So okay. that's what I stopped to see Cheryl this morning about, but she wasn't into this afternoon. Okay. So, Cy, can we pull from reserves? You've when we said when we did this budget we were going to that's the reason why i was remembering it. it's when we did this budget we said because we're going back into a year of non-covid hopefully right. that we will that we will take some money from the budget so that we can push out more this year okay. when we did that i don't know what that thing also keep in mind like i mentioned to paula there is money out there for yeah stuff yeah. like that yeah. that and may be available for you guys to apply for so and you're right Mayor. I, I saw that through the cto office this week too thanks so we could apply for that money now, if we pull from our reserve, can we replenish our reserve with that money if we receive that? I don't that? know if you could do that or if you have to eat. That would be something that I would get with some uh, Because uh -huh. sometimes you've got to, I don't know if you could expend it and then get reimbursed. I wouldn't really know for sure. Either um, way, we're pulling from the reserve. If we don't get it, we would. You know, guys, this it's not even, it's not. It's not really this. This first page isn't clear, and I'm no. going to tell you why it's not clear at all. If you look at it, you'd actually be scared. But it's because mm -hmm. expenditures are what our expenditures are going to be for uh, the welcome center, the trolley, and tourism. And the revenues only show first quarter of sixty-seven thousand dollars. It doesn't show, and, and it doesn't show the full year or uh, what our monies are. And it looks like. Um, if our first quarter was sixty-seven thousand dollars, our second quarter is probably going to be closer to, you know, eighty or ninety thousand dollars, and that's not reflected in here. Okay. And you know, uh, Tom, that money I was talking about, I think what it is is it's for you can apply for any loss that you had from the previous year from this COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. So it may fall. It's a good it may point. qualify. So is that something that Marty and Talitha work on, or how do we? I'll work with them. Yes. Okay. Well, Talitha and probably okay. Uh, Wally. Okay. So in the mean in the meantime, wait a second here. I'm just gonna look at something. outside contract services for things like our uh, website okay okay um, things like that um, uh, outside contract services could be considered that uh, key card or not? key card it okay. could be considered outside contract services okay. um, we did use like uh, 
that other company that did um, some work on uh, on artwork, uh, not MV5, but uh, Studio well, even, yeah, with, studio even, with, yeah. even with Jared's asking for it to come out yeah, of the contracts, okay. 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 you know, so um, it, or, it doesn't have to come under the grants. It can or out of the, ad, or out of the advertising. Adver advertising, so family. either one of them. Okay. Well, what if we don't have to pull all those things out of advertising, then should we just... How about if we pulled five thousand out of each one of those uh, outside contracts and advertising and put that in the grant? That, that's good, but just to make my point so we know, because it actually shows in here what we talked about. The current total budget shows a, our budget mm -hmm. was negative. What we said was right. our budget was right. negative forty-one thousand dollars because we were going to use that amount from reserves. Right. So like you were saying, Phil, the the previous year was was three hundred and some thousand and we went to two hundred and sixty. That loss is what we could uh, apply for. Is, is I that, believe uh, that's the language that's in there. And then and then just to tell you how good your management has been, Tom, is that we have said we would go negative forty one thousand on budget from and we are we are running right now for uh, the year to do negative 38. And that does not include the increase of tourism dollars that we'll achieve because of the occupancy. Right. You know, something I have just a recommendation I've always in this, I'm not sure how Cheryl would set it up, but I would like to see is a Current year versus the previous year, right? Quarterly or monthly, however. And then we can now you can see how you, you can. That's a gauge mm -hmm. of what how what it's like. I lo that's, oh, that's the reports I always like to see. Yeah. Those are good reports. Something simple for us. Yeah. 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 Brains. I know yeah. Brains is where you're yeah. at. The snapshot. So, um, just because I like these reports, I don't know if it's just talking or if it even matters. You guys all know this, but if you look at the first page for our fiscal report, the total budget numbers, and then you see the period activity and the fiscal activity, um, and you go all the way down, if you look at the visitor welcome expense, is that uh, we had we had said that we would the total budget would be 82,336, but the fiscal activity has actually only been 24 so far. Um, with the 53 variants, that might be because the Welcome Center wasn't open for the first part of the year, so we have extra dollars there. Okay. There's just so much money floating out there. Yeah, yeah, right now, you're it's right. Like, it's crazy, and it's just and now a matter. the opportunity to take advantage of it. And it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to wrap your arms around all this money as to what fits into each category that the city has, you know, whether it's park and recreation, whether it's uh, tourism, whether it's creative district, there's a big thing out there for a creative district, there's all this money that's out there. So it's, yeah. Well, like the biggest thing Phil, I feel is like, Ms. Navarrete's like knows how much each, like how much we've lost for the previous yeah. year. So being with her and Wally, the loss that we have, and the grants that are out there available for things like that, you know, those things like that should come. I think that one's off, I think right. that I think that's from the state, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe it's from yeah. the state that's allowing that money. I looked at the other night, our lobbyists sent us all of the bills, whether they passed or failed or oh, yeah. and there was I don't know, four or five hundred bills and I spent several hours this last week just looking through the synopsis of each one and if it's something that stood out to Trinidad I looked at it a little deeper and that's where I found some of these oh. items. And so then what's the process mayor after that does uh, does the Tabitha is that her name? Talitha? Talitha. 
that works on the grants for the city, then it would be. Uh, through an application that? process, there's an, and, and um, some items there are windows mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, and there are certain windows that are short. There's some that have to be expended uh, over by 2024 or something. Like that. So there, there are some windows that are longer, some that are shorter. And then there's a lot of things that they have to, that we have to qualify under. Yeah. And one of those things could throw the whole thing out. Could be. Yeah. And that's what Talitha would be. Um, mm -hmm. The expert. The expert. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, can we make a, a note to Marty to look at that grant and work with Talitha about that? Yeah. Um, and Marty, and Talitha may have some inside knowledge on this, possibly because she was at that Action 22 meeting. And I can't remember if that was one of the items that came up during that meeting. She and uh, Wally were both there with me. Being that we have the next two grant cycles coming up, do you feel that maybe we should move five thousand from outside contracts and advertising into grants, or shall we? I think it. Sh I think if we're going to pull, we should pull from reserves and pull a little bit more. And that's just maybe that's. And, I think that's and, and not add to add to outside contracts, advertising, and grants. Um. Yeah, I think that's really possible because since we're in a work session, I would say ask Marty and you and Marty can come up with and let us know what you recommend. Yeah. Just because we're in the work session, but I, you're right. I think yeah. you're right. But, mm -hmm. You know, and maybe, and I don't remember how much we have in that reserve, but it's a couple hundred thousand, isn't it? It's like three something. Three something. Three something. Then we could, I think we definitely could. Uh, justify pulling. Yeah, and it's yeah. fifteen twenty. It, and it's, I think it's and it disrespectful to all of our city and all of our merchants downtown. If it, this time in COVID, we can spend an extra so much money to do things that market us better when we're in a position to market us better, not to do that. Right. Exactly. And I, I think right like now, since I've been on the board, there has been so many more opportunities and so many like you and Chris coming on the board. It's we're really moving to a lot of different things as to, to going out for advertising for the mm -hmm. city. Definitely. And like Jared, what he's bringing to the table now, right. and like Phil brought up, you know, right. branding those things about Trinidad, you know, those those things are pushing us forward, you know, to where we haven't been before, I believe. Yeah, no, you know, fabulous time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing we might just keep in the back of our minds too, once we start expanding and doing more, we're laying a whole lot on Marty. We're gonna to have to pick up individually some things or get her some help. Mm -hmm. uh, I, that's just from experience. I mean, yeah. Well, it's, one of the good things is that she reached out to Jared. For the marketing yeah, no, aspect, so, because so, that was the so, job she was you know, and, you, and, you, and you think about okay. that, you know, like we pay, um, I can't think of his name. Jeff. We pay Jeff switches. That's what I was going to say. Where does yeah. Jeff get in this? Right. See, and, and Jeff, his, his, his wages come yeah. out of uh, 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 tourism. Who, who's this? Jeff's Jeff? Marty's assistant. Jeff. Uh, at the Walker Center. He can pick up so some of his stuff. So we pay his 100% and we pay 25% of Marty's. Right. We pay. So, so you know, some of the, some of those things maybe Jeff can sure. take off of her. Definitely. And I agree with you, you know, we got to become a little bit more active in things, you know, uh, certain things, you know. As a matter of fact, uh, during this COVID last year, we actually pulled Jeff to do some actual city work because he didn't right. have enough work mm -hmm. yeah. at the Welcome Center. And see, and at that time, the city picked up his part of his payroll. Mm -hmm. and, and ours, they, when he was working for the city, they paid him. And then when he went back to, this, to the Welcome Center, the tourism picked up his wages again from there. Does he ever come to meetings or would he ever be able to? I'm sure he's probably going to report down. He takes, I'm, I, you know, I don't know what he does for Marty. I think he manages the staff at the Washington sure. Center. Mm -hmm. So then you look at it in this sense that 
that's our part in the tourism mm -hmm. uh, in the, in the welcome center is he's helping her run the run right. the welcome center. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so being that the welcome center is now closed, is it closed two days a week or one? I think just one. Just one. Maybe on yeah. Sundays. On Sundays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But also, I first brought that up. We really should have a time that we have the board can meet Jeff. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. He, he runs the stuff out to the hotel, so I see him. But it's an appropriate thing. We pay his thing when, to let him know how much we appreciate the work that he's doing. Mm -hmm. And to have maybe he's got a point of view that we need to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing I think it'd be good, uh, being that you pay part of his salary or his salary, uh -huh. I think it'd be a good idea for him to, or Marty, to give you a breakdown what, of his day. Of what, he, what he does. Mm -hmm. That way you know mm -hmm. what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he would even tell us. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it'd be good to have something written so that you guys would have to do it together. Yeah. All right. So that's what we'll do with the budget, and we'll, I'll get with Marty and we'll figure out a number and where we pull it from. Mm -hmm. and, and this one piece of paper shows that we have another $15,000 within our budget to give for local funding yet left okay. for this year, great. plus whatever other monies we transfer into that. Okay, yeah. great. And when so, with that next when are we going to be seeing grants again? So the close is now at the end of June. At the end of June. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So then the next grants would probably be on the next work session. Okay. On July seventh work right. session. Okay. Or so, no, it's not the next one. Right. Okay. So what I'm hearing is do we want to move money into advertising and to all three of them, outside contracts. Mm -hmm. So we would have places to pull from. For certain things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it, yeah, and, and I didn't know we could use some of those outside contract services as the key cards or Jared's, right? So that so, so that makes the advertising budget stay the way that it is rather we, than dwindle. Right. We've also them. done things now that we've never done before. Like mm -hmm. we, somebody came for a grant, we took it out of advertising, right. which word it should appropriately be. Right, so, absolutely. So and should also, still be, and be right. done because it helps. Right, mm -hmm. so we're, we're learning how to use that money in, in different ways. Definitely. So, okay, that okay. sounds great. Sounds good. Trinidad Talk Advertising. Um, I was actually surprised that this was put on this morning, uh, just because I had I had talked to Marty a couple of months ago uh, about just some of the op the opportunities, of things people are doing lo locally. But like, you know, Cougar Nights is corny. It's you know it, it it's different, mm -hmm. but people are, are watching it, mm -hmm. and it's starting to spread and, and do things. Different things like that are, uh, it seems to be the way, you know, we're going to get more word out, and because of some of the people that we're drawing to town, you know, that that is hitting them first. Uh, another one uh, is uh, uh, T-Dad Radio. Uh, and, and what they're doing with their podcasts and putting news out and because people are looking on the internet for things that they're going to come to Trinidad or going to Colorado they're, they're watching for those things and they're uh, they're, they're showing up in the uh, uh, search engines and uh, those uh, I mean it's 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 all coming together slowly but surely the, the internet especially with what COVID pushed everybody into um, I know that Steve Wharton was going to do a uh, uh, podcast, you know, you got that started just as COVID hit, so we shut it down. Mm -hmm. um, there are others that are beginning to start up, but the two right now that I've seen more activity on the search engines on Google and uh, the different ones is uh, T Dad Radio and then uh, Cougar Nights. Cougar Nights I don't, doesn't have a real good forum for advertising, and Jay's already, you know, he's got a segment once a week about tourism, <laughs> just. That he does because it gives him a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, there are avenues for uh, for promoting and advertising on uh, T Dad, and uh, Kirk did not come to me with this. I, I went to him to get the information. Uh, I do understand from Marty that he had made a presentation or something sometime before, mm -hmm. but we could easily for eight hundred and fifty bucks do some pretty 
uh, substantial advertising on his uh, on their newscasts. Um, they they go to so many different places. It's it's hard to even uh, keep up with when when you're trying to watch because they have different platforms that they're on and. Uh, uh, you know, eighty-five dollars a week for his recommendation. You know, it might be something to consider. Uh, we can't do it till we, we couldn't vote on it till the next meeting. But it's something to think about. Um, the flyers that she copied are not—they're uh, not readable. <laughs> no. Uh, I can get—I can get uh, better copies of that sent to you if anybody's interested. I don't have a, a dog in the fight. I just know that. Uh, Does it reach out? More and more people are. And it reaches out uh, around the world. world. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, you know, that's more and more people are going. And even an old man like me, when I was coming up here, I started going googling, finding things. And uh, when I finally got past the the sex change capital of the world, you know, Thank there's goodness, a lot it of doesn't come up first. It anymore. doesn't. It's starting to you know slowly get you know now it's the weed capital of the world. But hey, at least. <laughs> Same sex weeds. Um, it, it's it, that's just a way people are starting to look at. Okay, I'm going to go down this road. Let's see what the you know internet road does first. You know, and it's uh, it's happening. You know, and I listen to my daughter who is in uh, uh, works for a, a Cumulus Radio and uh, uh, marketing and every one of those stations, every one of those markets, they have. Uh, uh, internet specialists, social media specialists that come in and are having to do things that they've never done before. Because now you can get your favorite radio station and listen to it, and, you know, maybe in Trinidad, you can listen to it in, in uh, Berlin, Germany, you know, and it's... There's, yeah, there's another podcast out that you probably wouldn't even have to pay for. Uh, Senator uh, Blackers from Action 22, the director, she has a weekly podcast that uh, if you guys want, I can give you her phone number and you can call her to see if you can get on periodically. Well, I think we should, she's always looking for... Uh, we should support every anybody that's doing anything about Trinidad right. from here, as long as it's legal and... Uh, and, and uh, Let me give you her phone number. You know, nice. <laughs> because I, I've been on with her twice already in the last several months. Man, we gotta listen to those from there. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, what is the name of that podcast? I don't really know. Uh, probably actually twenty. I don't really know. What's what's her name? Sarah Blackhurst. And full uh, disclosure, Jay Gillespie is married to Talitha. So. Uh, her phone. Her phone number is. She lives in Rye. Seven one nine three six nine seven nine zero one. Just tell her that I mentioned it to you, and she might give you an opportunity every now and then to talk to him. Is there any, does he even have like a feedback as to on, on this? Uh, I guess how so many people, yeah. You know. Where it's reaching for? Uh, it, I know that, I know that uh, Kirk has an idea of some of them. Uh huh. And, and, uh, because they they learned how to calculate it because you know uh, uh, thirteen souls the movie they did uh -huh. he gets residuals on so he, oh, he definitely keeps track of that and then uh, some of the other stuff now Jay I don't know if, you know Jay might have to put it on the air but I don't know and, don't know if he can count and the eight hundred and fifty dollars is per year uh, and so, that would be uh, it's eighty five a week eighty five so it'd be like ten weeks which would take us up into the fall and, oh, I see. Have you guys done anything with Eli De Bono? Because he has it for the local radio station, and he's always looking for stuff. And matter of fact, so is Tom. Yeah. He, we did an interview with him like last year. Yeah. When we were, when we were promoting businesses Most, for COVID, you know, during yeah. COVID. Most of our advertising has been with KCRT. Yeah. And yeah. Now Tom, Tom has something that you you can do that. Do so. You have that weekly, or that where you can go on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be going live from the farmers market on Fourth of July and every week that they're going on, and then I've got more in the hot quite a bit. We just started um, my cable channel uh, on the twenty first at four thirty, and we got taken off because they went from analog to digital, and now we're on twenty four seven. And everything, 
almost everything that, that will be on Comcast will be on my YouTube channel. And we're going to be streaming live. And then I have some really big plans coming for the fall. So that's going to really unite this community in ways that um, we haven't seen in a while. So well, that sounds really exciting, Tom. Yeah. Hey, is there ever a chance that you would back, would bring back the food we, cooking show? Th that's, that's one of the things. Yeah. And, and what happened is it was hard because when they went from analog to digital, uh -huh. it was expensive. Yeah. And I frankly, I couldn't afford it. Right. But things have come down. It's like these are cameras right here. And I can do up to nine cameras. I had a problem getting my third camera up because you guys are sitting in different <laughs> directions in every meeting. And so I have to come in with multiple cameras and figure out how to capture you guys. But um, digital has come down in, in, in cost so I can afford it again. And uh, we, we've got some plans. Um, I talked to the Dad Lounge about doing a, a music show and we're, we're working on that with some of the others. So a lot's happening with, with, with video and audio. And, and uh, come fall, too, I'm going to be doing the Trinidad Now show, and I'll be interviewing the candidates. And we'll be able to stream it live. We're, now, no matter where we go, whether we're in the hall, uh, where did we do Meet the Candidates? Mm -hmm. It'll be live on Channel 71, and it'll be live on YouTube. So um, it, it's just it's changing so fast, and it's hard to keep up. But yeah, this is really cool. I can do a nine camera shoot, and I can put in graphics. If you give me video, I can pull in a commercial. It's it's it's. I'm drinking out of a fire hose right now every day, mm -hmm. just to try to to get ready for September. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, Saturday Saturday morning we're gonna start with eight o'clock. We we've, we've been doing. I had a couple glitches with yoga in the park and then at nine o'clock we'll we're going to put up a tent and we're just going to film people shopping and talking to them and talking to the mayor and whoever else and find out what's going on in town so maybe we bring a few people in to farmer's market on saturday morning it's like oh hey there's my neighbor i'm going to go down to and buy a watermelon mm -hmm. so that starts when sounds uh, well fourth of, we've been filming the yoga but the the uh uh farmer's market starts fourth of july weekend let me know what time I'll be there. I get down there. Yeah. We just can't do advertising because it's not for profit. So we have to watch that line. So anyway. So do we want to move this to that talk? Or? You know, Kirk comes into Mooses quite a bit. So if he comes in this week, I'll pick his brain a little bit and see okay. what he can give me as far as who's listening, how far it reaches. And then... Um, uh, we can discuss it because the, the next, next one's session. A, yeah, the next work session. Yes. Okay. okay. If, if we if, if we're going to take advantage of it, uh, the sooner the better. Obviously, we get started. So if you could speed that up, talking down. Okay. Because we're going to we're going to wind up voting on it and getting it started, and summer's going to be over. I know we're talking about mm -hmm. trying to do things in the fall. But right. These are simple, easy things that don't take a graphic artist or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I just cut a radio spot for uh, Marty at KCRT for the uh, auction for the okay, bicentennial, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you know that's it's just so quick and easy to do those yeah. when you're not having to get graphics approved and different things. So, do we want to put this on, and then you find out that information, and you and, and I present it on that, yeah, on that meeting. Okay. So and we'll so. What I'll I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Okay. Okay. And maybe you can give us a little bit more insight on it. Sure. Or, or. We approved grant applications for June and August of 2021 cycle. Um, I don't have any. Uh, she just don't have any here. I think that was just that was Jared. Yeah. That, that was, was just Jared. Jared. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're pulling that one out of the advertising budget. Or right? outside contracts. Outside contracts. Yeah. Okay. Outside contracts on that one? I think so. Okay. Because that, that is, yeah, hiring another person to get some work done for us that'll help us in the long run. That makes sense. Official Visitor's Guide for 2022 Review. This was last year's? Um, 2021. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this year's. This is, yeah, this is 2020. I can't remember what page our ad is on. Um, 149. 149. Mm -hmm, thanks. Does anybody think like to change it? I think we should change it. And this is the one that they featured us here. Right. So we wanted to get the ad on the on the page right after. Right. So next year we won't have an article, so to say, we would right. just have the just the ad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think if we wanted, this is the perfect time for us to utilize the True Outdoors. Yeah. One mm -hmm. of those ads, get that brand or that logo going, and go and make a decision after we see even, that. Even if we did a full page with four of them. Yeah, sure. Like that? What do you think? Well, well I think you would, you know, if, if we're going to go consistent, we need to get the same graphic artist. I mean, somebody yeah. that's doing that and decide on one. If this if this is the one or if there's some other choices, we mm -hmm. may need to mm -hmm. maybe have them submit it and then start turning things over to that person um, or that that group. Right. Uh, I wouldn't put four of the same thing together. No. I would do a, do a nice full page one, but with the same style, mm -hmm. but without the pyramids. Well, well, here's, here's a cool thing that is on this one. It says... Stay tuned. We're building your future. Yeah. You know, so that's that's a. Uh, uh, I just I don't like graphics where you're using a, a, a live picture and putting big blocks of color with, with, yeah. with, with typing yeah. them. That's but, uh, but what I'm saying is 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 this is a good thing as to where we're going forward. You know that's a good thing. To have. Not to say that we're gonna use this print on there, but mm -hmm. here's here's our new brand. You know, this is this is this is what we're going with. One of the advantages of getting a, 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 a at least one or two different people, one would be preferable, on doing your graphics is to get that consistency because mm -hmm. you know we've got you know six people in here. You can have six different ideas of what's pretty, you know, what's what's nice, what you know, what what you want. Uh, it's a whole lot easier to see somebody's put together something with a little bit of direction, and for everybody to go, oh yeah. yeah you know, I, I, I like that. So you get it. Uh, well, that was a good discussion we had with Jared because yeah. all of us yeah. gave us, sure. well, everybody here gave us an idea. So he's going to take it around with it. Right. So he's, and, and that's he's the key player. back to the same graphic right. arts. Right. 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 So see, he's the key player and it's, it's, it's a good thing that we had this conversation with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I, you know what I was just looking at and you were at that thing with the Greenway Foundation last mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. What if you, know, you were to do something like maybe the bottom half with a picture mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if the Greenway Foundation will allow you to use their name mm -hmm. and put the river in there and say somehow use it and say this is what's next. Right. So I have something to that effect of what we're building on with the river. Right. Yeah. Maybe a small the, portion on the bottom with the picture of the river. I don't know. That's the, 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 the point of this guide is to we have to catch their attention and bring them here. Bring now. them we'll, here we'll give, for what you have to offer. Exactly, and I think those pictures that are supplied, if you know, if he can get one that's got the kayak on it, or if he's got one with water sports or the river or the, um, something that's that shows movement. I mean, if you look in the rest of this magazine, it's movement, it's recreation. All these pictures are are, are have people in them, um, and I really think that we should. Energy. Energy. We should continue that mm -hmm. scope. So the question I think for us today is, do we want to do this ad? Yes or no. Do we want to do a full page? Yes or no. And then design is going to come, uh, you know, once we have a little bit more from Jared and once we can get together to vote on it. This, this is one magazine I think that we need, we definitely need to be in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is this Colorado guy. So I say yes. Mm -hmm. On we move forward to going to this. Okay, it's one of the more because this is tied mm -hmm. yeah. to the Colorado tours, right? You know, Absolutely. so this is of any magazine. I don't know how many magazines we've already 
dropped probably six or seven. So we're getting away from that, mm -hmm. but to this stay, one that but to stay with the ones stay. that represent Colorado. It's a beautiful ones, magazine. It's something right. that that anybody right. could pick up and take with them. Is this something that, that the state will send out? Right. 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 This as is well. one. It, and it's the one the state looks to. So right. the very few times that the tourism board hasn't been able to put an ad in there or decided not to, um, they got a lot of slack from the CTO office mm -hmm. and from people. That were here in town that what looked at the Colorado magazine says how come everybody's in there with right. ads on in there. So um, so if you look at that ad that Salida has on that back page, mm -hmm. you know there's a, yeah you know there's action in there. And, and I say let's area, let's know, leave so. it to a graphic designer to put it together. Yeah. Let's tell them what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We're looking for movement, energy, recreation, and let them they are the expert. Let them put it together. And I don't know what that's going to cost us, if it'll be additional on top of what the ad costs. Um, but that's, you know, I think spending your dollars on a quality ad is far better than just putting something in that, you know, to, to just put us in. Even if we got with Jared. Yeah, definitely. Because here's, here's the one thing is we, we want to develop pictures mm -hmm. and action pictures to go to that way right and we're not using really, the same yeah. ones all the time mm -hmm. we're continually changing as to what's going on around here for sure being you know. the way it's the way it's brought to us it's very easy for us to make changes i think right. it's it gives us a lot of opportunity to utilize different photos different mm -hmm. um, ideas of what we want for for people to see trinidad right. um, so I, I love the I love the ad. I think that it gives us a lot of opportunity. It doesn't always have to be those four pictures. It can be right. whatever we want it to be. Right. This you is know. a I don't know when this magazine comes out. Um, you know I think summertime is. It probably comes out. It probably comes out in January for the year. Okay, sure so, that makes sense. You know. Um, you know, and I think we should we should advertise our summertime. Uh, well, that's that's especially in June now. They're trying to get contracts for next year's got For right. sure, yeah. right? Exactly. So. So that can be put on the agenda for July 7th, okay. and we'll go, we'll, we'll And, and I think Marty does have a window as to when we can get what we're going to put in the magazine. Right. We just have to make a decision that okay. we're going to go with the magazine. Okay, that sounds great. So we'll move that one forward? I'd say so, yeah. Okay. I, other things, I'd like to just bring something up. I really like your Trinidad True, Mayor, Trinidad True Outdoors. But something I've been brewing just because I've been watching all these artists in town, and I think I don't know how we would do it, and if we, you guys would want to, but I think it would be pretty cool. And write my little notes here to do something like Trinidad True um, artists and on the way to mm -hmm. American Idol, and the tourism board support something that the artists try out in town somehow in some format. It could go along like 12 weeks, once a month. Uh, it you know which you know every week every month whatever we want to do and we select a local artist that we fund on the way to American Idol. That could be fun. It could be really fun. It could get artists in from all the surrounding areas an hour around to find out that the city of Trinidad's tourism board is going to is going to support a local one, two, or three artists on their way to American Idol, and that cost might be you know three to five thousand dollars to support that. And we could cheer lead that person on. It would be good for a TV show. It would be good for other reasons, but it would also be a statement that we are artists in Trinidad. So I have something to think about. Mm -hmm. but I, I've been like, every time I see this, I'm like, we should be supporting this. We're, we're supporting, we're artists. Trinidad, and you came up with true. Trinidad, true outdoors. Trinidad, true artists. Exactly. On their way to American yeah. Idol. You know, to, you know, and I think it would be a really big, fun jazz in town. Well, you could take the Trinidad, true outdoors, Trinidad. True uh, artists. Uh -huh. True artists. Love Trinidad. that brand. Yeah, that's true, a brand. Yeah. That's the true creative music. vision of brand almost. You know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah. it. Trinidad, right true there. music, yeah. anything we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. True yeah. art. Yeah. True. Yeah. And that and that's, you know, I don't know if this graphic designer would be willing to also look at the creative district design for us. Uh huh. But I'm sure he would and I'm sure he could find a way to, to keep those two ideas together. Like, you know, we appeal to all sorts of people. We appeal to people who want to be outside. Um, and, and interested in recreation, but we also appeal to the artists' community. Right. And we have so many things too. We do, and those there. are two of our biggest things. I true think so. True. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all that's coming. Yeah, that that yeah. that just, really just is. Just the museums we have here. Tongue nice. You know all the true. Yeah. 
And it's something nobody else is doing that I've heard of, you know, because you hear all that, you know, discover, Mm -hmm. discover Trinidad, all those, but Trinidad true, and it it is, I mean, you know, there's the West, there's the Old West, there's the New West, there's the Wild Wild West, and then there's Trinidad true. 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 Oh, that is a magazine, too. Oh, yeah. (laughs) 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 We won, we won some awards in that magazine. Well, you know, Trinidad is, you know, for three, four years now, and that's what this one came up with, uh, Trinidad Bray, Connectic. Uh-huh. And there were so diversified in all these various things, and I think being able to now begin to mm-hmm. pull these together, like I say, under what well, you guys are talking about. We should have a work session where if we decide on a graphic artist, whether it's Jared's or somebody, uh-huh. <clears throat> and let them be part of the brainstorming, mm-hmm. and let them come up with the different things, and get and basically it, this is going to be working towards next year, but uh, you know, come up with. Uh, a whole theme to get that consistency and for for everything down the road yeah everything yeah. down the road that's coming you know so that's so, why i say you brand it now something yeah. that you can look at that will carry you for the next decade mm-hmm. that turn that true art turn that true yeah. artist but i want you all to really think about that because it would take a little offshoot of this group to actually help put it together and get some other people in town but you know Trinidad true arts or Trinidad true artists on the way to American Idol I think would be huge in this town and it would could also be something that could start to happen in the fall we'd have to find out when when you're supposed to go to wherever you go in this region of the states to go for tryouts and then we would have to have our contest before that so we would be able to fund that person to go to Denver or Michigan or wherever those tryouts are for our area and really it would be so fun. Years ago there was a national program put on by True Value Uh that uh, they actually would start, they would go to the various communities and then they would go from like Trinidad to Pueblo and then they would Mm -hmm. go into Denver or Springs whatever and then they would go on to a national type thing where they would become like Mm -hmm. a a major artist, but there, there was stuff that was done many, this was back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. But I mean, when you watch American Idol, you see those families or the hometown after they win, or like, where are they ahead of time? Like, yeah. we're that place. We're that place to promote our local artists and even get more people coming here to sing to be part of it. So, anyway, cool. One there's thing. so many things we can do. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> right. there's so there many. is so many. And we're right in a really great area with um, it, not only what we know is happening in Detroit Dad, but you know with the uh, city leadership right now and how they're into all that all that the outdoors the art they understand everybody they're helping with the river they're really in there helping it's a great platform to show this is where you really want to bring your family you know? one of the things I, I don't know if I bring it up but I swim laps at the aquatic center so every day that I've been going for the last Three weeks. There's probably seven or eight people that have been sent by motels or get off the highway and they come in that pool, and it's it's amazing. They can't believe the facility that we have here. And one of the things that you know is upsetting for me about the aquatic center is the the seating. You know, and just like we we bought. Uh, we gave five hundred dollars to Pachera to put our name on one of the things. Is I just you know I just want to throw this out there if we could maybe buy the aquatic sand four chairs with tours and board on it. Just because there's so many people coming from outside and they see all of us things the way we are, you know. And, yeah. and to me, I think it's I just like I would just like to see everything in Trinidad looking great and having mm-hmm. people want to come back you know like yeah. going to a place in cg they don't even take care of it you know but but they do they do an excellent job of that swimming pool they painted it last year and the manager that's there i he's probably one of the best assets that trinidad has ever gotten to run the aquatic center because he's doing on, a, on any given morning he has swim lessons going on he has four lanes for lap swimming he has aerobics going on in that pool and it's it's just amazing what's going on there and a couple of the kids that he has now one of them is um, he's at that great wolf lodge in colorado springs he's the head lifeguard of that whole operation back there so these kids are moving out of here with what they've learned from him 
and taking their skills, you know. So, so that's a great place. So that guy that runs that place is down here, or what's that guy? His, he's here. He runs this uh -huh. pool here. Stacy Sanchez is, is he's the manager of that. And how is that linked into the um, Great Wolf in Springs? One of his uh, lifeguards. Oh yeah. Has, yeah, that's has moved on to, and, and oh, I don't yeah. know if anybody's heard of the. Great Wolf Lodge. It's a fun lodge. It's up it's, north side of Springs. It's, right. Yeah. It's, and it's, it was a hotel that sat empty for years. years. They were in the middle of the project and they, they basically it bankrupt. 300 rooms. Yeah. And it sat there for years. And those of us that knew hotels were like, oh my God, what are you doing? Like, how can you? There was millions of dollars invested. And after it's after like five years, yeah. Great Wolf Lodge, which is a place that does 14 different ones in the U.S., bought that up. And it's a great place for kids in New York. It's, it's just directly across yeah. the highway from. The Air Academy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fun. It's really fun to stop in. You're but just a thought. Yeah. Right? Just I just want to mention one last thing that I mentioned to you. I was up in Denver a couple of weeks ago and I <clears> went <throat> up because Colorado because Trinidad got a, uh, an award for the uh, Space Create project from Colorado Preservation Incorporated. And uh, there were probably a couple hundred people there from all across the state of Colorado. Margaret? Yeah. So, nice. Yeah. Nice to when do they anticipate uh, renting out spaces to businesses on the bottom? Cause We're in the process right now of trying to do the bottom portion of the, the community space. Uh -huh. And uh, they've been talking to H.W. Houston because we went out for a bid, but we couldn't get any of the bid, so we went out and contacted H.W. Houston. And uh, they came way in over what um, the original cost originally were thought of and uh, now we're trying to figure out how to get that additional funding for it but uh, there might be some additional funding through this American Recovery Act out there so. Does, does not having that finish prevent you from uh, renting out the spaces in the, I don't think like so. the Frank block? No, like, I don't believe so. Like, those are pretty well done. Mm -hmm. yeah, people want I don't think there's, I don't think there's any problem there. You know, Mayor, when you said that about the award and space to create, I was thinking to myself, how can we use that as some growth for ourselves? And is there, since, you know, we as a city would have pride by knowing that, but how can we really use that? Is there any way that we could use uh, that award in advertising by, um, in any, in any of the surrounding like cities that people are living in that would come to Trinidad and visit, is there is there a value in putting something in a slide in newspaper that says, you know, congratulations to the city of Trinidad for the uh, first space to create project, da 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 da. Is there a value in, in doing that? Because we have that and it's a self pride thing, but how can we use that to make ourselves well, anything, self grow? I think anything that you you can latch on to, I think we can uh -huh. sure. you know. I, I think one of the Good things for that billboard would be too is if when we do do start renting out those bottom spaces, uh, the picture of the art that they did as to how it's going to look, I think that would look cool on that billboard just with Trinidad on top of it. You right. know, and showing a whole two block area that's been renovated. And is is that something that we can use once we get our key card things for our guests that right. we could put for a month in just an exo slip of paper that says congratulations to the city of Trinidad just for advertising? Right. You know. And if you want to look at the the little plaque that gave us, we just got it a couple of days ago. It's a piece of stone. It's not very big, but it's uh -huh. kind of cool. Yeah, and nice. It, it, Where's it at? I, um, Donna had it the other day, so okay. we might. Check the receiver. Okay. We're all done. Okay. Thank Thanks, you, everybody. Tom. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Regular meeting, uh, July the fourteenth. Fourteenth. We'll adjourn at eleven o five. Maybe it is the fourteenth. Is it the fourteenth? Oh, July fourteenth. I'm sorry. <coughs> yes. Okay. So it's the fourteenth at seven. Second and fourth Wednesdays. Second and fourth, is that right? Not just every, not just every. It's always second and fourth. <laughs> I'm so glad that y'all don't know because I can't. <laughs> I'm always. I didn't I'm want always. to.